very quick disclaimer, if you are considering relocating the Verizon ONT, um, this video is simply just like a proof of concept of what I did. I'm not really encouraging a lot of people to do this themselves, get Verizon to do it. Um, but if you're interested, I made this video, but um, Verizon does not want people really touching these things. So if you cause damage to the ONT or Verizon's fiber, they could charge you a couple hundred dollars, I've been told. Um, so yeah, if you're not comfortable with this, just hire someone. Um, you have been advised, not liable. Relocating the Verizon 5S ONT. It's this big old black box here that's got fiber going into here. And out goes connections for a coax for TV, phone jack for phone, and the ethernet for internet. As you can see, the fiber actually comes up through all these units in this multi-dwelling unit um, through the water heater rooms. So the fiber comes all the way through here and comes out behind there. Now that's nice and all, but uh, as you can see, that's just one side of the house, which is the bedroom. This is a two bedroom condo where, so my home office is over there. That's where I want the, all of the network equipment to go, including the ONT. So this is all part of a bigger project where I'm running uh, ethernet throughout this entire place. Um, but this video is specifically on the process of what you should do, need to do with running um, the fiber to extend it for Verizon's Fios service to relocate the ONT. I should warn you guys, you want to be very careful with this stuff. This is basically a very thin glass wire. Um, if you do a very sharp kink, it, the service will not work. So you have to be very, very careful with its bends. Um, I know it's still pretty flexible, but again, you want to be very careful. Um, it's not foolproof, but yeah, so um, I'll put all the links in the description for like things that you'll need. You'll need like uh, SFP single mode um, fiber, um, particularly the APC, which is like angular, but really you'll know because it says green, but you can literally go on a Google search, um, look at an Amazon or even, um, so you need those and you'll need these couplers too, which I got a big bag of. So um, kind of like a female to female connector and uh, yeah. Um, all the cables are going to go up here against the wall, and uh, yeah, step one, get a baseline, so do a speed test plugged into the router, and then check your cable, make sure the picture, you know, kind of eyeball it, see how the picture quality is beforehand. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just connect the fiber, which you're going to pull from this piece here out. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, So basically, as you can see, kind of zoomed in on this, right? You see that this little piece here, this little housing moves back and forth. So when you pull it out, you're gonna pull it from this thing and not from the stem. So this, so it's almost like an ethernet cable where it latches on. So you pull this back and then just keep pulling and it comes out. So be very careful. You don't want this to bounce back and hit this because then it can damage the fiber. So what we're gonna do, I've got the extended fiber here. I'm just gonna install it now here and I want to test this for a couple of days to make sure that, you know, the service is wonky with the, the, the uh, fiber cable. So you're going to take your couplers, which I got right here, disconnect these thingies. We're going to take our coupler here and connect it to our fiber here. I just push it in like so from this side, this little jacket here, all the way. And then you're going to take Horizon's fiber here. And uh, you're gonna match it up with the little tooth here. You're gonna match it with the little groove here. So push it in like so, all the way. And there you go. And then take this other end. We're gonna put it into the ONT. Like I said, this notch is actually gonna be facing outward. You're gonna put it in. Squeeze it in there. Not bad. Take your time. I kind of, it was red at first, so I kind of disconnected in and switched these cables around. So it takes a little bit of uh, playing around, but it works now. Now we just gotta wait a couple of days and make sure the internet isn't. So I skipped ahead a couple of days. As you can see, it's all installed in everything the fiber and two Ethernet cords and got all the connections too. That's part of another video, and I'm gonna put crown molding over this. So um, stay tuned for that in a couple of months. Subscribe and you'll, uh, you know, you'll be able to see it. But but yeah, um, the first step was crucial, just hooking up the fiber to make sure that everything is good, that you're not gonna have any surprises because you really need to test things before you run it and then realize, oh, it doesn't work. So that's very, very important. And a couple of days to make sure that you don't have the wrong fiber and there's 
issues like that. I gotta mention, as you could see, I was able to, I wasn't too concerned. As you could see, you have to be careful with the bending radius, but I'm pretty good there. Like I said, the cable is pretty flexible, but you don't want to do a sharp kink, and I don't have that issue there. So that is, I'm sorry, I know it's shaky, but uh, that is done. And let me show you guys the finished product for now. It's still a work in progress, and I'm waiting on a couple of other things. But the ONT is here. Um, I've got a UPS there, um, a network switch, and Unify gear, and all that stuff. There's my TiVo. Um, as you can see, I only have to run coax from here straight to the TiVo, and then uh, everything else, there's no more coax runs in the house. Everything else is going to be Ethernet. So the TiVo minis, I'm going to be running through Ethernet, as you can see. Now, another quick step. <clears throat> I guess it's not that mandatory, but people say that it's... There's some people say grounding your ONT. So this is if you live in a multi-dwelling unit and you don't have access to the outside ground grounding, then you get this unit. I don't think a lot of new installs have them. Um, mine did, so I just kind of brought it in here, but you could probably buy it online. I can see if I can put a link. But yeah, I ran it. I use a stapler gun right here. And I was able to put these a uh, couple staples here because this wire is pretty rigid. It goes up there and uh, <clears throat> put a little coax grounding there. I, I trimmed a custom coax cord and it, it goes into here. Again, it doesn't, I don't think it's too super necessary, but it is, uh, it's just, people have said it kind of helps a bit. So whatever I can do. And um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, 